I am making an old family favorite with a new Valerie twist, my mom's cherry cheesecake pizza pie. My twist on my mom's pie dough. I mix some almond flour in my dough for some sweetness. I just wonder what my mom's gonna think of that. Put it over this way. Make sure the edge is there and roll it right back in. So now I wanted to make it look like a pizza. There we go. Now I just wanna get some air holes in there. This is called docking. Because I'm gonna give this a little blind bake first because the cream cheese is wet, the cherries are wet, and I don't want the bottom of my pie to get all soggy. Just some beans. You can buy pie weights at the store, but if you have beans, why bother? So I'm just gonna put this in the oven. It's preheated to 350. Just about 20 minutes. Right now, I wanna get this yummy, sweet cream cheese filling started. Two bricks of cream cheese. They've been softened to room temperature. Two thirds of a cup of sugar. It doesn't need to be super sweet because the cherries are gonna give it some sweetness too. Get a couple eggs in there. One last thing. I wanna get a little bit of zest in first, because that's where all the intense flavor is. And I'm gonna use the other half of the lemon in my cherry compote. Okay, there's the zest. And just half the juice. Just get this mixed up. A little lemony, lots of cream cheesiness. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, time for the cherries. This is two pounds of frozen cherries that have been thawed. I'm just gonna make a little cherry compote, which is fruit, sugar, and for me, a little zest. Give it a little stir. I like a lot of zest. So that's going in. I could put some vanilla extract in here and you can do that too if you don't have a vanilla bean. I just like that intense flavor from the vanilla bean. So it's just gonna take about 20 minutes for the compote to cook down and thicken. Time for the cream cheese. I don't want to fill this up to the rim with cream cheese because I want to leave room for the cherries. It's about as level as I'm going to get it. And then I'm going to get this into the oven at 350 degrees for an hour. My cherry compote has cooked down absolutely perfectly. It's nice and thick now. So I'm just going to top my cheesecake 